Okay, shalom, shalom, Kwame Asala, Koholoyimla, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekaha Kodash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, led by the Spirit, taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say good water to all the Akim and Akwaf, that saw here sincerely keep on the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability. This is Yah Hanan Awaf, it's coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Wanted to touch on the earthquake out of New York. Says a 4.8 magnitude earthquake shakes New York City, northeast. Um, I've seen some articles where it says 5.5, but I was just watching the Apostle live, and um, he's live right now, actually. And his, you know, he was shook, his apartment shook, so I'm not sure if that was an aftermath or a tremor, you know what I'm saying? Um, and and you know, I mean, he 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 he, he said, hey, you know, I hope it's not an earthquake, you know, he he. But the brothers was putting up in his comment board that, yes, it's an earthquake, you know, that's happening or just happened or whatever, whatever. So, I guess, you know, he's doing a lesson. So he's off into something else. And I guess he hasn't seen that news yet. But I'm sure he'll probably go off into it because he's definitely live just now. He was literally like, yeah, just, dang, my whole apartment just shook. You know, we kind of stopped for a minute, you know. But, um, you know, we touch on this, you know what I'm saying? Because this is a part of the end days prophecies, man. You know, we, you know, uh. It's not spoken on as much as a lot of other prophecies that um, a lot of the brothers bring out. But, you know, I try and touch on it when I see them because this is a part of those last days prophecies that um, Yahweh Shah spoke of when it is, um, the disciples asked him what would be happening in the end days just before his coming. And one of those things, he said that there would be earthquakes in diverse places. So and it was an earthquake in Buffalo, New York, I think um, February. So, you know, they're kind of happening in places where, you know, they generally don't. And, you know, hey, it's a lot. We're living in interesting times. And this is just before the eclipse as well. But it says 4.8 magnitude earthquake struck the northeast Friday morning, according to preliminary estimate from the U.S. Geological Survey. The earthquake happened around 1023 a.m., about four miles northeast of White House Station, New Jersey. People in the, people in, the, in states, including New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Maryland, Massachusetts and Pennsylvania is reported feeling the ground shaking. So that's like five states. And here you go right here. Here's a good, nice little picture of it right here, the epicenter. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, man. We're living in very interesting times, man. The USGs hadn't reported any aftershock in the, in the 30 minutes after the earthquake struck. The, the tremor appeared to last a few seconds, rattling people in an area of country unaccustomed to earthquakes. See, that's that going into diverse places, man. The epicenter of the earthquake appeared to be about 40 miles from New York City, according to the USGs, USGS. The city's mayor office said it didn't have any report of major impacts from the earthquake. New York City residents received emergency cell phone alerts saying they were advised to remain indoors. <laughs> the Federal Aviation Administration paused departures at some New York area airports. Due to the earth, due to the earthquake in the New Jersey area, should you think they'd be wanting to get off the ground? Fuck you, pausing the, the the air flights, boy. <laughs> you don't want to be on the ground when you know. Anyway, people on social media express shock and confusion that such a rare event would occur in the Northeast. Some schools in the area were implement, implementing shelter-in-place procedures out of an abundance of caution. The last time a relative a relatively big earthquake. Shook the East Coast was in 2011 in Virginia. A 5.9 magnitude earthquake struck outside the nation's capital and was one of the strongest to hit the region in modern history. It was felt from North Carolina to Maine. The governors of New York and Pennsylvania said on social media Friday that they were monitoring the situation and assessing if there was any damage. The earthquake comes days after a 7.4 magnitude struck Taiwan on Tuesday. It was the strongest to hit the country in 25 years and killed at least nine people. Yeah, they over there trying to clean that shit up. I seen that one. I reported. I actually reported on that one as well. But let's get the scriptures real quick. Because this is one of the things that Yahweh Shah spoke of. Very important, man, that we stay on top of these um, prophecies and report these prophecies. You know, it's not going to be an excuse, you know, for people to say, hey, I didn't hear the gospel. You know? But this is Matthew 24 and 3. Start there, it says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, your disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, 
and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. And you know, it's saying Jesus, you know, verbatim, but the Lord's name is Yahweh Shai. There's no letter J in Hebrew, no letter E, no letter O, no letter U, no letter V. And a letter J was invented in 1524, about 500 years ago. So the Lord walked the earth 2,000 years ago. There was no letter J sound. No one was calling on Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shai, which means he's the Savior or Deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. And the true name of the Father is Yahweh, which means he exists or the existing one in the Paleo-Hebrew. So we use the real name because it's very important to know that name. You're going you're gonna to need to call on the right names, man, when things really get bad, bad out here. And this is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, because you are the Israelites. All this stuff that's happening, the Lord is doing that for you. He's about to tear into these nations, these heathen, man, that have had us in captivity for the past millennial. <laughs> Damn near, you know, but the Lord is about to do a business on, on, on this place, man, especially in the Americas. You know, when them, when them nuclear missiles start to hit this place, you want to be uh, uh, praying to Yahweh about Shemiah with shot for mercy, man, and he'll pull you up into the chariots. You don't want no parts of what's coming to this place. All right. So it says, and Yahweh shot answered and said, Matthew 24 and 4 again. And Yahweh shot answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So, the beginning of sorrows has started, man, you know. It's been a minute, too. It's been this been going on for quite some time. So, you know, the Lord is about to do a number on this place, man. So it's high time to awake out of sleep and to repent. Let's get this. Um, No, not Sirach. Let's get second address real quick. In verse um, chapter nine, verse one, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before. That's another brother that's about to do um, a, a, a lesson on the earthquakes. The, um, the elder out of New York. And then they write at the epicenter of it. It says, then shalt, verse 2, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, verse 3, this is the point. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the most I spake of those things from the days that were before thee. Even from the beginning. So we're starting to see things play out. This is how we know how close we are. That's why it's so important to repent. To the father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai man. You're living in some very serious times right now. And with this eclipse that's about to happen Monday man. Ain't no telling what's going to pop off. That's a that's a whole another um, um, prophecy in itself. You know what I'm saying. Them signs of the heavens man. Roughly paraphrasing man. Um, Romans 13. And 11, I didn't want to keep this long. I just wanted to really report on the um, earthquakes or whatever. It's starting to snow. <laughs> Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time. See? That word time. We just read that. He said to measure thou the time diligently. Right? How do you measure the time? You measure the times with what's being said in the scriptures. And you compare it with the news that's coming out. That's why the scripture says to watch and pray. We're supposed to watch. Be watching. You're supposed to be circumspect. That's everything that's going on out here that's got um, something to do with um, the end days prophecies, man. Again, it says, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Can't stress that enough, man. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. And the only way that you can do that is you have to know the true name of the father, Yahweh, the true name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Repent to the father in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, and turn from your wicked ways, man. Get into these scriptures. See what the Lord said to do and do it. And the things that he said, don't do, don't do it to the best of your ability. You live by, by these law, statutes and commandments to the best of your ability because the Lord knows the heart, man. And so, again, you know, I just wanted to touch on this. Just a quick warning, you know, just a... Um, you know, to go off into this because it is a part of prophecy that there will be earthquakes in diverse places, man. You know, here you go that you've got this eclipse about to pop up in a few days and you got an earthquake in New York. Which we already know that's that's pretty much like 
Hell's Kitchen for America. <laughs> really in reality, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, that's a, that's a, hey, and that's a, uh, I mean, it, it's really a representation of, of a melting pot of, of, of all heathen, basically, man. The Israelites are amongst these heathen, you know, because you do have um, Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom, they're deep. But when it comes to the heathen, they're all over the place. You know, you got every single heathen nation within New York. And that's pretty much every state. But within New York, though, you know, that, that that's a state where it's just like, you know, you think that you was, you know, really walking through old Rome. All walks of life there. All manner of um, um, uh, uh, idol worship. All manner of just wickedness, man. From every level. <laughs> So again, man, these are great, great times that we're living in, but it's 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 about to get scary, man. It's about to get, you know, you want to have a healthy fear for you. How about Shimmy Awasai? Because he's about to unleash um 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 some things in this world, man, that's not gonna be comfortable, especially during this Jacob's trouble, man. So just wanted to touch on that for a second. I pray that this lesson was edifying with that, Kwame Yashallah.